any do tutorial step by step for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at any do which is a simple platform that enables you to manage your team's work or your own personal work with their simple list creating platform so let's get into it now anydo provides a simple solution for your day-to-day -day routines for your day-to-day -day team management it's not complicated and it's very simple they have multiple different features like to-do list project management daily planners calendars reminders chart and collaboration and other integrations and imports as well so to get started with AnyDo, you can choose any one of their versions. So the personal version starts for free. You don't have to pay for this version at all, where you can create your own tasks and lists, reminders, calendars, and daily planners as well. Then they have their premium version starting at $3 per month, where you have recurring tasks, WhatsApp reminders, color tags, and other features as well. And then the Teams version starts at $5 per user per month, where you have collaborative workspaces, and you can use that as more of a project management or team collaboration software. So to get started, we will just click on Get Started over here. And you're just going to click on get started to get started with any do and all you need to do is register with your email address so you can choose to log in with google apple or facebook or you can enter your own email address we're going to continue with google over here and i will just enter my email address that i would like to create my account with and now any do is creating our account over here now after that they will ask you how do you want to use their platform so let's say i want to manage just me over here so you can begin by adding your you know your specific items so if you have you know if you just want to manage your own stuff you can enter just me but if there is some collaborative work that you want to manage you can also do that with your team so i will continue with just me and i will skip these basic questions and show you guys how to set up all together now you can also choose to integrate any of these other project management applications especially if you're doing this in a collaborative setting then you might be previously working on any of these platforms and you can sync up your data from over here now after that you can use any do premium but we're just going to skip that for now and just like that our account has been created now from here you're going to be able to manage your workspace so you can see you can connect your google calendar to your anydo as well that will enable you to keep everything you know all together and this will enable you to just really have all of your basic tasks in your google calendar as well now what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is click on all my tasks and now this section will show you all of the incoming tasks now below that you have a my list section and you can create multiple different lists that you might want to do so let's say i want to organize my month instead of just adding october i would write finance goals or i would write grocery lists or anything of that sort in this list section for example i have assignment due dates or quiz due dates so i will add university quizzes as a list and now within this list i can add a task so i will just click on the bottom over here and let's say i have a quiz on whatever date you might want to add so you can enter the specific quiz or whatever item it might be now after you've entered that item you can see you have reminders that you can add you can add tags as well so for that you do have to subscribe to the premium version but it is pretty simple to use now after that you can add a reminder and you can enter the due date as well so adding your reminder kind of functions as a due date for you and let's say it's on the 20th so what i would do is i would set the date and then i would set the time to be a little earlier than the specific task which would serve as a reminder as well as a due date now below that you can also enter notes and you can also enter subtasks so let's say you want to plan out your personal goals so within personal goals goals you can add your subtasks it's super functional like so and once you have completed an item you can simply click on over here and it would be crossed out from your list and then you can later on remove it as well so just as an example let's create another list and this could be personal goals so we have our personal list over here and let's say i want to do a specific diet goal 
So like this, I have entered a simple little task, which is a personal task, which is to make fruit bowls for dinner. Then I can set a reminder for the night that I have. So I can set a reminder for the time that I want to complete this task. I can enter these subtasks as well. And usually I like to add the reminder, you know, before the task needs to be completed. So this gives me some buffer time to get started on the task as well. And now I have some subtasks. So I need to make fruit bowls and then I have a subtask to go buy the fruits first. And you can see the task subtask has been now crossed off when I click on tick. And then after that, you can select the next subtask and then close the entire task itself. You can also add attachment files. So if you have any item that you would like to browse through or let's say in my personal or in my work goal. So in my work list, I have something so to go over a report. So I need to go over a finance report before my meeting. So if my meeting is on the 22nd, the meeting is on 12 p.m. So I would set a reminder for 11 a.m. And I would simply set the reminder and then you can attach the files for that meeting or you can attach the files that you're supposed to skim through or go over to this specific task as well to simplify your work further. So you can, you know, schedule your entire day, month or even year with this simple platform. Now, this is just for your personal use. After your personal use, you can just go into all my tasks and see all the tasks that you have for today, tomorrow, upcoming, someday. You can all also choose to see the next seven days over here and you can also choose to print this out as well and you can also have your my day section where you can only browse your tasks for the day if you want to create a collaborative workspace you can simply click on the bottom left over here click on create your workspace and then you can enter a workspace name so let's say this is your university project so we're just going to enter that over here and click on create then you can enter your teammates. I'm going to skip that for now. You can invite them by email address and then you can enter your first board. So let's say we have content gathering for our first board section and then we can enter the specific people that you want to add. So we're just going to click on create over here and you can choose a template as well. Let's say I want to uh, use a simple Canva template. So I'm just going to use this template as well. And now from here, you can actually customize this so you can enter any of your own tasks or any of your own sections. So each one of these is a section and you can enter your section names. What I recommend is uh, due tasks, then you can enter ongoing tasks and then completed. So you can remove the done section if you don't want this. So we can archive this section like so. And after that, you can simply click on add task over here. So let's say creating a presentation is our task. Now, after that, you can actually even add this to your day, copy the link, chat and activity so you can chat about this specific task as well as archive the task later on. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with any do. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.